What's up, Long Beach? Welcome back to LBPostSports.com. It's JJ, and for one last time in 2010, we all get to enjoy some more league baseball at historic Blair Field. In the red corner, the highly touted Lakewood Lancers. At one point this season, number one in the nation, going for an unbelievable 27 wins on the season. And in the green corner, the Polly Jackrabbits. Kids on this team not even born the last time Polly was atop the Moore League, and that's what's on the line today. Everything passed prelude to this. If Lakewood wins, they take the Moore League. If Polly wins, we've got a four-way tie for the Moore League Championship. Needless to say, anybody not wearing red was rooting for green, and that means they were rooting for freshman starting pitcher Chris Castellanos. Not much older on the other side as Lakewood sends sophomore Shane Watson to the bump. But this one was less about the pitching and more about the bats. Jackrabbits stay patient early. Thomas Walker started off with the base on balls, and then Jeff Turley sprays that one to left to put two on early. Severson stay patient. Jack Rabbits were very patient early on as Watson struggled with his control. Base is chucked for James Harvey. Harvey takes first strike, sends the second would-be strike right in the center field. Two RBIs up to nothing are the Jack Rabbits and pumped about it. But here come the Lancers right back. With one out, Tyler Schultz wears that one and goes to first. And then almost identical to how the Jack Rabbits got theirs going, walk followed by a single followed by a big hit. J.P. Crawford, freshman shortstop, sends that one to the wall in the left center gap. Two will come home. Crawford on his horse into third. All the way turned up. Number six would come home to score in just a few pitches as Tyler Leadholt chops that one and Lakewood up 3-2. So with the one run lead, Watson able to settle in a little bit. Spotting that fastball, getting a few Ks, a huge strikeout right here to get out of a jam in the third. And with their pitcher finally finding his footing on the hill, Lancer's just doing work at the plate. Jeff Yamaguchi leads off the third with the single. Razo shows bunt, pulls it back, puts it almost in the exact same spot to put two on. And then Worrell, a nice bunt. Jeff Turley looks like he's gonna go to third on that one, double clutches, and then that just squirts out of Nico Santos's glove. Another run would come home, and then Schultz doing his job with the sack bunt for another run. It's 5-2 Lakewood, so Pauly needs to stop the bleeding, and they do so with defense. Henry Severson, oh my! He just reaches out and grabs that one, rolling around like it's a John Woo movie, and then guns him at third. Great play, tip of the cap. But with the bases loaded in the fourth, it's time for Tyler Maxwell to come in and try to shut the Lakewood Lancers down with one already in. Zach Alofahi Tuli sees one pitch, likes one pitch. You hang him, I bang him. Two RBI single, it's eight to two Lakewood, and they're running away with this game, right? Uh, if you think that you haven't watched much more league baseball this season, Polly, right back at you. Bases loaded, Eric Gonzalez at the plate. Chops that one to third. Hunter Jones unable to come up with it. The ball squirts into the outfield grass. Two runs come home, so it's eight to four Lakewood now, but Jones clutches up. And Walker sends one hot to the corner. Jones, five, four, three, double play. One run does come in, so it's eight, five Polly at this point, but huge play from Jones. However, Polly relentless. Cook with a single to the right-hand side, and then Severson. Coach Toby Hess asked him to pull the ball. He did exactly that. Lifts one deep to the wall in the corner. Two come home, Severson in the third. It's eight, seven, Polly, and the Jackrabbit Nation is up on their feet. But back come the Lancers once again. Jones, his 33rd stolen base of the season, that's a team record, goes to third on a sacrifice. And then sprayed to the left, oh my God. Daniel Cook out of nowhere gets that ball, but the umpire says that he trapped it. On second look, it's clearly a catch, so obviously confusion abound for the Jackrabbits. Uh, the, the run did come in. It was held up that it was a drop ball. Now, it really doesn't matter because Hunter was on third when the ball was caught, so he would have scored anyways, but it's 9-7 either way. Walker gets the single to lead off the sixth, and then with the walk, Watson's night is done. So, Matt Padilla in out of the bullpen, coming up huge for the Lakewood Lancers. 
He threw the curveball almost exclusively, and it worked almost every time he threw it. Gets the strikeout, gets the ground out here. A run does come in, but that one is huge. So it's 9-8 Lakewood going to the seventh inning. And like a broken record, the Lancers are threatening once again. With a man on already, Crawford single to the right-hand side. Bernal goes to third. And with Leadholt at the plate, soft liner Eric Gonzalez. These Jackrabbits just flashing the leather. Huge play right there. Almost doubles up Crawford at first. But with all of those web gems for Polly, you kind of knew this was coming. Hunter Jones, a major league fly ball. Castellanos under it. Jones runs right past him. Ugh, just can't handle it. Two come home. It's 11-8 Lancers at this point. Going to the bottom of the seventh. Padilla going back to the hill. And Padilla making quick work of the Jackrabbits. Strikeout looking. Strikeout swinging. And then the deuce with one on puts it away. Grounder. Jones stays in front of it. Winner, winner, more league championship dinner. As team leader Jeff Yamaguchi said after the game, the Morley Championship is back where it belongs. Lakewood 11, Polly 8, a perfect way to end this incredible season. It's Long Beach, baby, where amazing baseball happens. The playoffs start next week. You know exactly where to go for all that coverage. Right here, LBPostSports.com.